Bio nanogenomic stock, ticker symbol BNGO, just keeps going up. Since my last video just a couple of weeks ago, we have gone from $4 to almost $10 a share if you look at the after hours trading. And I still think it has massive potential for upside. We have to talk about all the recent news and catalysts that made BNGO go up these past days and also why I think it still has at least a double in the coming weeks or months to come. The last part is really important so guys make sure to watch all the way until the end so you don't miss anything. Just to reiterate quickly, if you haven't heard of BNGO already, despite there being tons of videos about them at this point on YouTube, this is a genome mapping company and in their own words, their platform provides researchers and clinicians an organized and actionable picture of a genome with unprecedented insight into how the individual components of genomes are arranged and interact with each other. So basically, this company is working on really revolutionizing medicine, specifically the diagnosis aspect of things. The genomic sector can be quite confusing since there are so many different areas companies can work within, so more specifically, BNGO are all about gene mapping. With their groundbreaking tool, Sapphire, they can establish the locations of genes on the chromosomes, which can be used to understand so incredibly much about the person or even animal behind those genes. And really that is what made BNGO go up so much initially and it is also the reason why I think they still have a long way to go. Their Sapphire platform has proven to be extremely effective really. A great example of this is how Professor Temple Grandin, who is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, talked about how Sapphire's gene mapping not only found a bunch of genes associated with her various symptoms, it also gave her a deeper understanding of how her body works in general, which in turn led to the doses of her medicines being adjusted to better help treat her symptoms. This is very impressive and shows us just how much the need there is out there for gene mapping. I obviously have tons of respect for doctors, but sometimes it is simply impossible to know what issues someone is dealing with just by asking about their symptoms and taking a couple of blood tests. This is really the future of medicine right here and is the reason why I think the entire genomic sector will just explode massively in the future, saving and improving tons of lives in the process. So now let's get into the very recent news that made BNGO stock jump up in share price to even the two digits at this point. And guys, that was mainly Maxim Group's Jason McCarthy, who has a five star rating as an analyst, he did a report on the stock where he talked about giving it a buy rating and massively increasing his price target with 600%. Before it was at $2 a share, but now his new target is $14 per share, which implies a more than 40% upside from the current levels. And not only did he do this, he also gave quite a nice explanation for why he is so bullish on BNGO. According to Jason McCarthy, the increased investor confidence or interest in BioNano stems from two years of work to raise awareness of its Sapphire optical genome mapping system and a five day virtual symposium that they just had around 10 days ago that focused on their technology. Awareness, adoption and messaging in 2019 and 2020 culminated with a cytogenetic symposium that has opened the eyes of the entire genomics world to Safer, he wrote. And that's really it guys, Safer seems so incredibly promising on so many levels. For example, Pacific Biosciences Hi-Fi system only managed to identify 72% of the large structural variations that were detected by the Safir system. BioNano also wrote that their product is more effective at detecting additional structural variations that are highly clinically relevant, especially in cancer. But wait guys, at the same time, Safir costs much less than the method Pacific Bio is using, costing less than $500 per genome compared to Pacific Bio's costs between $10,000 and $20,000 per genome. The second big news of last week was BNGO raising $200 million through a share offering, 
which obviously doesn't make the shareholders really happy in the short term, but will, in my opinion, lead to tons of value being provided in the longer term. Guys, the only thing we need to see from BioNano right now to really see their share price explode is them actually being able to stay afloat and start selling their new revolutionizing technology to clinics all over the country. It seems like the applications are endless right now. For example, a preliminary study had determined that Safford can be used to develop a more sensitive test for brain tumors and likely a lot of other kinds of tumors. Not to mention the possibility to study a very broad range of genetic diseases that we know very very little about as of now. It even seemed to be effective in learning about how people are predisposed to having a more severe or milder case of COVID-19. As we know, there will be hundreds of billions of dollars in government spending going towards research on COVID this year, so I would not at all be surprised to see BioNanogenomics get a fraction of this money for their own research, which would obviously be a huge catalyst. So with this said, why do I think we will at least double in share price in the coming weeks or months? Because there are just tons and tons of massive catalysts. In the short term, next week will be very interesting for BNGO and I would not at all be surprised to see them keep going up. From 26th to 29th of January, there will be an event called Festival of Genomics and Biodata, where BioNano will talk about their recent findings and their research. This might make the market even more excited about their technology, causing an increase in share price once again. And in the longer term, we just have to wait for this company to announce the actual commercialization of the new products, mainly Safir. And when the market sees that Safir is simply outperforming everything else, Else combined with the high demand, that is really, in my opinion, when BNGO will explode in share price. Keep in mind guys, this is still only a $1.7 billion company and if they can start generating some nice revenue, it could easily double, triple or even quadruple in share price in the long term, of course in my opinion. Lastly, I want to remind you guys how much momentum and interest there is in the entire genomic sector, with founder and CEO of ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, even going as far as saying that this sector will drive the bulk of the market gains for the next five years to come, the investor interest in companies like this will only be going up, which in turn will increase share prices in those companies in the longer term, in my opinion. Now, as always with companies like this, we have to remember that this is always a risk we are taking when investing in them. So make sure to stay diversified and not be overly exposed to one single small cap company. We still need to see their product being actually launched and see that the demand is there for it. Although I think the upside potential is definitely outweighing the risk in this case, which is after all why I am bullish on BNGO stock or BioNanogenomics. And guys, with that, I want to conclude today's video. I have to remind you all first, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. It's all of my opinion, as I said multiple times in the video. So always do your own research and come to your own conclusions when investing your hard-earned money in the stock market. It is just so important, really. Anyways, if you like this particular video, then please press that like button. It was the absolute best way you can support me and my channel. My name is Sam, by the way, and this is Financial Dragon here. So welcome to the channel. And I talk about mainly growth stocks, stocks that I think will have tons of impact for the future and simply do great things. And I think BioNanogenomics is one of those stocks. But anyways, if you watched all the way to this point, and if you enjoy the content, of course, then why not subscribe to the channel and join our rapidly growing community? Guys, I appreciate all your support. We're growing faster than ever, really. And I'm just so incredibly thankful. I will see you soon in the next video. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys.